Today we're going to look at getting started with printing for RAD Grid View. RAD Grid View is part of Telerx RAD Controls for Windows Forms Control Suite. So one of the most requested features in RAD Grid View, according to our public issue tracking system, is printing directly from the RAD Grid View control without needing to export its contents to a file format such as PDF, CSV, HTML, or XLS. In this video, we will open Visual Studio 2010 and begin working with the new print features found in RAD Grid View. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are, we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010, and from here uh, we have a RAD Grid View that has already been added to the form for us. Well, I've also added a RAD button here that's going to be used to demo some of the new printing features. Let's just go ahead and run the application and show you what it looks like as is. So once we run the application we can see that we have a couple of different things going on here. We have a link, the decimal, some text, uh, a mask text box here, and then a few other fields. What we're going to do is we're going to experiment with printing this grid using the new features found in RAD Grid View Q1 2012. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back to our print button here and I'm just going to right click and go view code. So the first thing that I'd like to show you is actually a print preview. So if we use this dot rad grid view one dot print preview just one line of code and we run our application then you'll go ahead and you'll be able to see just how powerful this new feature is. We can hit print and from here we see our print preview dialog. So there's several things that we can do here. First off we can hit the print button and we can begin sending it to a printer. Next up we can go through our print settings and we also have the watermark. So if you use the watermark you'll see that we have a watermark settings dialog that will appear. So the first thing that you may want to do here is actually add in some text. I'm just going to add in the word Telerik and you see there's a lot of different options to play with from the horizontal offset to the vertical to the rotation and we can kind of see what the rotation looks like to the font, the size, we can even add bold, italic, underline we can change the color or the opacity now we can also position this in front of the text or behind it and we have a page range of adding this to all the pages or just to a certain set of pages. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to change the horizontal offset. I'm going to drop this down just a little bit. I'm going to leave the font size at 144 just so you're able to see it in this demo. I'm also going to click over here on the picture and it's asking us to load an image. I'm going to select an image from my system and this is just the Telerik image and I'm going to change the horizontal offset on this as well and just put it in the upper right hand corner. You can see here you can also change the vertical offset, you can change the opacity, and you can even turn on tiling. So of course you can change the position here and the page range. So if I just go ahead and I press OK, we're about to see our new preview of our document. So we can see that our watermark text is at the bottom and now our watermarked image is up here at the top. There's also a couple of other options we can play with. We can navigate pages using these two buttons. We can see which page we're on. Of course we could add the page number here if there was more than one page. We can zoom in. We can zoom out. We can also use this to zoom in a little bit closer based off of the percentage. And then of course from here we can change the different layout modes. So let's go ahead and let's jump back into the grid and take a look at some other features. So now we're back to our click event handler and if we wanted to we could actually use this dot rad grid view one dot print and then set it to true to pop up a dialog box instead of a print preview. So if we run the same application again and we just go ahead and we click print then you'll notice the print dialog box just appeared. Now we can also bypass this entirely as well by coming back to where we were at and taking out the true here and running it and it will automatically print to the default printer. So we'll just go ahead and we'll hit print here and as you can see it's starting to print. So there's a couple of other things that we want to take a look at. 
the first being grid print style. So you can customize the settings of the grid print job by setting the print style property of the rad grid view to a new instance of grid print style class or editing the current one. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at one of these. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come right here and I'm going to remove this code snippet and I'm going to paste in this one. So we can see here the first thing we have our grid print style. So after we define our grid print style, we're going to add in a style.fitWidth mode, and we're just going to set that to fit page width. We're going to go ahead and we're going to change the alternating row color to something like a color.aliceblue. Then we're going to set it to print alternating row color, and then we're going to set in our border color to just a blue and then we'll set our print style to the style that we just defined and then finally we'll add in our rad grid view one dot print preview where we can see this so let's just go ahead and let's run this application and now that our application is loaded we'll just go ahead and we'll hit print here and now it's generated our preview but we can zoom in a couple of layers and we can see that it added in our alternating row color and it also added our border here to blue. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of other features found in Rad Grid View. We're going to select our Rad Grid View. So if I scroll up in the properties here and we click on events and we scroll down just a little bit we can see there's several new events here. So one of them is print cell formatting. So we're going to simply double click on the print cell formatting and we're going to add some code here. Now this is going to allow the developer to customize the print output for each individual cell. So for example if I wanted to change the header row info to blue when it printed I could attach this of course the event handler and then I can add in this code that says if e.row is grid view table header row info then we can set the back color and then we can set the border color. And let's go ahead and add in our print command here. So we'll just change this to a true. So now if we run the application and we select our print and we hit print here, we will see that our header row has the colors that we just specified. The next one is going to be the print cell paint. So let's go back to our rad form and we're just going to select on our rad grid view one and I'm going to scroll down again and we see we have a print cell paint. So this of course is going to allow us paint any of the cells. So if we double click here we have our print cell paint event. So now we'll add some code to the print cell paint. So I'm going to paste in a code snippet here and what this is simply going to do is this is going to paint a green dot when the calculator's value is more than 40 and a red dot if it's less than 40. So we can see when we run the application we can go print and then of course we can select a printer and once I scroll over here you can see that the red dot indicates the value that was less than 40 and the green dot with anything that was over 40. Again, I hope that helped and please tune in to tv.telleric.com for more videos and check out blogs.telleric.com for the latest news and announcements.